On September 5, 2017, President Trump terminated the DACA program. On that same day, the administration decided to no longer allow DACA recipients to travel abroad under the authority of advance parole, and the consequences have been devastating. In January of this year, the father of my constituent, Myra, a college student and dreamer, died in Mexico. She immediately gathered the necessary paperwork, including her father's death certificate, and applied for advance parole. Her request was denied. Myra was unable to pay her last respects to her beloved father due to the unconscionable decisions made by this irresponsible and heartless administration. Losing my dad was one of the hardest things that I've ever experienced in my life. Like it's really um, something really difficult to deal with and in those moments I just said I have to go see him, I have to go see him. The first time that I went to USCIS, I didn't even consider rejection. I said, this is my case, I have everything I need, I'm gonna go, it's gonna happen. Then I was rejected. I feel like I can't move. I just wanted to be able to breathe and be able to go back and see the people I want to see in my family. I was born there and I'm living here and this is my home and that's also my home. Why do we have to choose? I don't want others to go through the same thing and maybe they're not willing to stand up, but I want to stand up for them. It's a difficult thing to do, but I know it's not impossible because it is needed. Advanced parole, it is needed.